Okay. Okay! Hello everyone, welcome to the Monson Schoolhouse. Um, today we are in Drew's room. This is the only quiet room we can find. <laughs> today we are going to be reviewing The Good and the math. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. The Good and the Beautiful Math K. We just completed it and we want to share everything about it and why we absolutely love it. I'm just gonna have Drew tell us his highlights and then he's gonna be out of here and I can get down on the floor yeah. and show you guys in depth everything that I loved and everything that makes this math different from any other math program I've ever seen. Um, this math program is inspired. It and is. Also, I'm going to be showing you the activity box and showing you everything that we loved about it. Um, Drew, do you want to share what you loved most about math? I love the games because it has lots of games and fun stuff. What is one of the fun stuff that you did? Doing shapes. <gasps> Why are you wiping off my kisses? <laughs> Your favorite thing to do at school? Math. We did use the math K in his first grade year because his kindergarten year, the first part of the year we tried a Becca math and it was not, there was no connection for me or for him. And then we tried math you see. Do you like this the best? Because it has more fun stuff. It has more fun stuff. <laughs> the Good and the Beautiful has so many different ways to teach number sense in so many different methods and so many different learning styles that it's almost impossible for a child to go through Math K, The Good and the Beautiful, and come out without with a bad number sense. It's just impossible. Yeah. Right, Drew? Yeah. I mean, he is is just going. He's He's doing so well. All right, Drew is getting ants in his pants, and he needs to head out and play with his brothers. He didn't last very long, so you're left with me. <clears throat> um, I got everything laid out on the floor here. I'm going to take you through everything and show you why this math program is like, it blows my mind. <laughs> like, it's made math into a love, into just a light of our day and how it just has such depth. It has healed me and Drew's relationship. It's healing. The reason this is different is because it's it has a warmth to it. It has a light. It has a depth that I could never thought was possible in math. It's, it's just beautiful. I am kind of mourning the fact that it's over, that... I, I kind of want to drag it on a little bit more because it's that good. Um, I really need more babies, you guys. <laughs> I need more babies so I can use this again. So we'll be working on that one. You know, I'll see what my husband thinks about that. No child is going to walk out of this book without loving it and wanting more. So let's get on the floor. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you all the different ways that it teaches numbers and... Um, brings math to life. So let's let's get on the floor right now. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through kind of everything in front of me. Um, these are, this is the Wreck and Wreck, part of one of the stories I'll show you. Number line, odds and evens. These are the 10 frames. You use it for games and different lessons. Here's all the super cute manipulatives that go along with all the stories that I'll show you guys in depth. There's three different units that kind of use these themes. Um, here's a cute little game we did. It's Math Bingo. I love that one. They give you dice. Um, the place chart, which Drew really caught on to, and honestly, it just clicked for him. This really did. Calendar. Um, and we use little minion stickers to mark the days. Um, you have your handwriting card. You have all your numbers. Um, written on these cards and shapes written on those um, you have these cute um, little shape cards that they can do these are for bonus activities and things with all your shapes there there's a little box that comes in um, the part to part 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 whole work map 
map mat helps you teach addition and subtraction and then you have these adorable little families they're called fact families that you use throughout the lessons here's just some activities that we've done drew loved the shape shuff shuffle it teaches them graphing he really looks forward to that we do it more than we should but he loves it here's some little activities that he did from the book delivering packages you cut out the packages and put them in the wagon um, so many more activities those are just some of them uh, you have the toothpicks that you use for tally marks and other things and then these 10 frames that go along with the stories and the units within the lesson within the book um, and then you have your two books so I'll open these up and I'll take you through I'm starting with book one and then I'll take you through part two so this lesson I specifically remember me and Drew were having a hard day and this lesson just brightened our day and brought us together um so how the lessons are set up you're going to do the calendar and that is going to be this it's included and me and Drew actually have been using minions to mark off the calendar days um, we'll sing the days of the year song and um, do all that and then we write the date and the place value chart let me grab it this is the place value chart um, it is such a clear way for them to see it visually so we've been doing that and he got this so quickly because it's so visual and easy for him that I mean he just has this down he has place value down so well um, and then you're gonna count they either give you something to like count to 100 count with pennies they'll give you different things right here and then in the bottom they'll kind of give you other activities but the daily dose just keeps you on track and it helps keep reminding the child um, like I would forget to do all this so super good but this lesson is just an example of how amazing and heartwarming this curriculum is it has a little story about ice skaters and you come over here and it tells the story with art so here's this painting it's by Peter Han, Han Peter Hansen so you, through the art painting it tells a story and you're gonna be doing addition and he drew the little skaters on the ice rink every time um, and it just brought it to life we had so much fun with this cute little story and it comes over here and then the um, it'll always have a student worksheet so this was the student worksheet in between and then um, a, the bonus activity was you get to plant your garden and he loved that Comes the, the curriculum goes in little sections and it will follow a story with each um, I guess unit you're doing um, it started out with Max and the Hive and you begin by using these little be manipulatives it'll take you through a series of lessons max in the hive and this is the very beginning of the book and with those be manipulatives you are going to be using the 10 frame with the be manipulatives um throughout all the lessons and this is a way to teach the children number sense following cute little max in the beehive and um, then it moves on to another way they teach number sense is tally marks and they use these toothpicks um, we, we use these throughout the entire curriculum um, and it was another way to show a child and they can make the connection with the tally marks to the numbers okay this is another thing that I love is these cute little roads and you get to use the blocks and you get to build these little structures these homes with driveways and so forth drew would actually get his cars and put them on here so that was really really fun sense more or less you can see through the pictures here um, and also drawing here you can really get a sense of that now something else they have for teaching number sense is these cute little cards um, it helps them visually see it and uh, kind of like we use these a lot okay so here's another um, game included in I guess I'm calling it the B unit <laughs> um so you're gonna get they have these games throughout you start on your cute little start piece 
and you're going to get these number cards and you're going to be drawing the number cards. Of course, you'll mix them up. You'll draw a number card and then you can move your piece two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here it says move backward with the tally marks. Again, they have to see the number and you'll move backward seven. Do you see how they're incorporating all of it in just a fun way? Again, with this cute story about the bees. It just all interlinks. It's all woven together in such a beautiful way. You're using the number line. You're counting up on the number line, helping teach them that way. And then going along with the bees, you're going to be counting down. And this is all in the first book. This is how they start to teach addition with the bees. So you're going to grab the 10 frame. And you're going to get the cute little bees and you're going to lay them out on the 10 frame. And that's how they're going to start teaching addition. And I mean, who doesn't want to add with these adorable things like adding with these cute little bees? It makes it so fun. All right. In this lesson with the tally marks, they're starting to teach odds and evens. This is in the first. They're starting to teach odds and evens. And then we're starting to um, teach addition using this adorable chart and I'll talk more about this but they can visually see things in different sections so they physically put them there um, they can see they're separated and then they move them together again with their own hands moving them counting them seeing how they come together and make the whole part Okay, you guys, here is another example in section two. Section one was the bees. Section two is the garden and another beautiful story of Miss Ruby. Um, just super adorable, gorgeous, in-depth imagery, absolutely beautiful, connects to the heart. And then on top of how amazing this is, you get these super adorable um, little tiny garden manipulatives. You have, you have these little carrots, you have little lettuces. Look, this totally brings everything to life. Um, cause not only are you reading about this story, but you're literally digging in deep and you're interacting with it. And then you get these cute little garden 10 frames to use as you're planting the garden. I loved section two. So cute. Here's another cute activity. This is called bonus activities. Um, at the end of lessons, you kind of have optional bonus activities. We always do them. In this activity, Kate needs to find her way to Miss Ruby by counting down. So you're teaching them to count down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you're going to do it again. 10, 9, 8 until you reach Miss Ruby over here. Again, the story just carries throughout each unit. Okay, so here's another way that they use to teach um, addition. And again, with another cute little story. So it goes along with Kate. One day Kate headed outside. She knows her older brother, Zachary. So he's shooting a target. And these targets are in the back of the appendix. And you make them and fill in all these numbers. Like we loved doing these number targets. Another way for the child to see visually how addition and subtraction work and then here cute little arrows activity um, just excellent activities these kind of things are so cute um, at the end of each lesson okay so in lesson 55 you're still at miss Ru you're still in miss Ruby's story so you're still reading that um, and you're gonna be learning how to count by twos with this and the garden um, Drew picked up on this so quickly because it just made sense to him and the story helped and the birds and everything that was. All right, another amazing thing about this curriculum is it will incorporate art and these are story problems. So there's stories incorporated into the art and oh, this is just so awesome to do and sit down with Drew and we read the story and he looks at the picture and he figures it out in his mind and they're just beautiful pictures that make, we just enjoy it so much. I mean, who couldn't enjoy this? And then they have little activities at the end where you, another thing that I love about this curriculum is it emphasizes spelling the words and reading the words 
and connecting those to the numbers um, and then seeing the numbers. So do you see how there's all these different ways to do it and finding that word? Excellent, very, very well done. Okay, so from book two, part two, this is section three. And then you, it's a story about Mika's beadwork. And in this section, you get to use the Wreck and Wreck, another way to bring numbers to life, to make it fun, to make it beautiful, um, and to help them see and do addition and subtraction. Drew loves the Wreck and Wreck, and it's something that we're going to be using even that, now that we're done with this map. I mean, it just makes sense to him being able to move things over. So here you're going to see, um, you read the story, and then you start using the Wreck and Wreck to do your addition and subtraction. Really just an excellent way to, to help kids know how to do. And through teaching them, it'll tell you the story. So it'll be, you're following this story of Mika and making her beads on the string. Um, so Mika decided to switch to a new color of bead. Next, she added one red bead to her string and then even tells you have the child slide one red bead on top. So you can't, you can't go wrong with this. And they slide that over and you just keep following the story and it really makes it come to life for them. Okay, so they have these fact families and it's just brilliant how they do it, but it's brilliant how they do everything. They teach fact families with actual families. So they have these little families that you get in the back and you cut them out. And the, um, this one is the Turner family, but they also have the um, Williams family and they have the uh, Shakopee family and they have, is it the Turner family that I was missing? This guy belongs over there. Um, and they have the Tanika family and the Robinson family. And they give you a little story to follow about the family. And you know, they'll be like, oh, the kids went outside. Or they'll say, here's the count how many are in the family. And then they'll say, oh, but the kids went outside. And then you, you work through the problem seeing the family do different situations and then you label and you can see the fact family there. Just brilliant. Again, brilliant. Okay, so this ladder subtraction was so cute. I actually got a fishy, I mean like a, a fruit snack or a fishy or you can even get a cube and I put it where it was. So five minus three, you can put it right there and then he needs to go down a couple steps. So one, two, three, he went down a couple steps. Do you see how that he's they're doing it they're seeing it and they're writing it just always so in-depth and interactive in all different ways okay so this might have been my favorite section <laughs> Kobe and the inchworm oh my goodness you guys this is inspired everything's inspired but I love this one it's a little story about Kobe finding this little inchworm and guess what you get you get little inchworm manipulatives and you are teaching measurement with these inchworms. It's absolutely brilliant. The little inchworm crept across the palm of the dad's hand, his little body scrunched together at his back arched up, and then his body quickly stretched out long and flat, moving farther up his dad's hand. Up the legs. Come right there. Okay, you see the little legs? When they walk, their middle section of their body arches upward and then lengthens, spreading its middle section out. This happens over and over again. Drew, look. I want you to look at the picture of the inchworm. Why is it doing that? Can you move like an inchworm? Can you show me how they move? Show me how an inchworm moves. There's this bum up in the sky. <laughs> That's a pretty good inchworm. <laughs> Excellent. Now go on to the next leaf. 